Hi, this is Regeline Sabat, also known as Gigi. You're listening to Walk With Me podcast. My guest today is Angel Marie Monticelli. Angel is an author, transformational speaker, and Shine On Movement creator. Welcome to the show, Angel. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here and to share my gifts. Thank you so much for having me on. I feel honored. You're welcome. It's an honor to have you here today. And now, ladies and gentlemen, to start us off today, Angel is going to sing a song. Here we go. Here we go. This is the Shine On song from the Shine On movement. Listen to the words. They're for you to help you be more confident, energized, and joy. Fire and soul, look within your heart, let your spirit flow, ask for what you want, show what you got, take it to the top, don't you ever stop, stop, shine, shine, shine on, raise your vibration, shine, shine, shine on. Looking for the answers, seeking you will find. Open up your heart, leave it all behind. Smile and laugh, always give back. Glowing like a star, show them who you are. Shine, everybody! Shine, shine on. Come on, raise it, raise it, raise it! Raise your vibration. Yeah, there you go! Shine, shine on. There you go, you're doing it now. That's the shine on the best. you to become a shine on movement creator because you know what and that's a great question because i wanted everybody to know to discover that they can choose to raise their energy at any time anything that's going on and you know that we've got so much grief and struggle and oh there's so much going on right now and the thing is is we do have the choice and that's my commitment to the world is that everybody discovers that you have a choice to be out of pain, to choose to be happy, to choose to change your perception of your life, and that every single person can do that. So that's why, because that's the movement is is really raising. It's really simple, isn't it? Because all of a sudden you can raise your energy. <laughs> I just did. And the I biggest love- one, too, was because I'm in chronic pain all the time all the time and being able to still be in this and and smile and laugh and be able to give back it's like if i can do it you can do it i know you can do it very powerful now angel tell us more about your book shine on the shine on book is 52 secrets for greater success and higher self-esteem and really this is not a book that you get on ebook. You really don't. You you want to take it because you t- pick one and like it's patience. And you pick one a day and you read the quote 
And of course, I quote me. So it's patience is an active, purposeful and wonderful form of personal power. And the thing is, is then it has a action step. Uh, also, this is my dog, Shine. <laughs> yes, it's my dog, Shine. And she talks in every single one of the chapters. And people just love that. And it's a real nurturing book for everybody. It's not a book. Uh, it, it's kind of a self-help, self-develop. But I keep hearing that it doesn't shame you. It gives you the in, it gives you those action steps and it helps you. And I also have a senior giving program. So when someone goes to my website and they purchase it and they invest in themselves, I take one and I take it in their name and I give it to a senior senior living place in your name so it's like a two for one so i because i love the seniors and they need books so that's a, a special too so that's about the shine on book and i want to tell everybody that you have a book within you you do and in i have dyslexia and i don't like to own anything so we're going to cancel that but yet i do and i still wrote a book because you can write a book and I spoke it and then I had an editor help me, but don't ever feel like there's any limitation on you at all because you are limitless and your energy is that because we are resilient and we are also what we don't stop us humans. We just keep going. So if you have a book in you start writing it right now and just speak it into Google docs, it's a genius way to do it. So there you go. <laughs> Very powerful. You are limitless. I love it. Now, Angel, tell us more about the major challenge that you had to overcome in your life. Ooh, there was quite a few, you know, being brought up in the 1960s. And it was it in right away, it was the dyslexia and, oh, she's stupid. So that was one of the biggest ones was they didn't understand any of that. So they just really pushed me aside. And I was in a lot of special classes, which caused a lot of what bullying and stuff like that. And I never put up with that. I never did. Can you, I mean, you can tell how I am. I never did. And I was always an advocate for everyone else to get along. And then there was also, there's that sexual abuse that went on way back then. And I went through a lot of that and that really, brought me down to is I'm not good enough. And especially being raised in a Catholic religion, that was, it was, there was a lot of that kind of like a damnation almost of that, that religion. Well, I don't want to get into religion, but as a child of six years old, even earlier than that, I didn't understand what was happening, but I just knew that God didn't like me. So that was, that was very challenging through my years until I really got to a point where it was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. And I, I, I seeked out coaches and counselors and I got some help. So that helped to transform. And what happened was after that, then being diagnosed all through my family with lupus, fibromyalgia, arthritis, and Sjogren's, and that's immune system. And having those just really weighing me down physically and not understanding nutrition or energy or healing or any of that it was a really it, it was a challenge to look at my life and say there is something better here i have to tell you back then i did not really look at that and see that it was could get better very inspiring as a sexual assault survivor myself, my heart truly goes out to you. Now, walk us through the moment where you overcame the sexual assault and how did you get to a point where you are now in a, with a positive mindset? Mm, now, what I'm through is, is that I understood because it, it actually continued into my adult years because a doctor, a chiropractor and heart and a heart doctor. And because I kept freezing, I couldn't. And I was like, oh, it didn't happen. And I think all of us have been there. Oh, that didn't really happen. I'm fine. Leaving the doctor's office at 27, 31 years old. I mean, something like that. I mean, that didn't just happen. But what did happen was after the, the last time that I was assaulted, 
I took myself to my dad's and I told my dad about it and I had never told anyone. And then I remembered all of the abuse. And it was about when we really drilled, it was like 15 different instances I didn't even remember. And people say that and I go, that can't be true, but it, it happened to me. So how did I continue? I went to counseling and also I started doing energy healing. And I understood that it was a foundation of I'm a victim and that energy was in me. And then my beliefs and I, it's like you believe your beliefs weigh on you. I, I, that's how I call it. And it's, and it's heavy. And I found that I had a belief that I wasn't good enough and that I would never be good enough because of what had happened to me. And when I understood that and I started to step in to releasing energy, and that's what I do today. I'm a Reiki master and I release energy. And then I also talk about the seven laws of the universe is the biggest thing that I talk when I speak virtually or even in person is about how to understand your energy. And once I understood my energy, I understood that it was not true, that this is not true of what everyone is saying that I'm not good enough and I'm tainted and I'm ugly and I'm dirty and I'm not good enough. Wow, these were things that I believed, but yet that belief was here. But how did I really feel about it? And that was the thing that I adopted and I started to study was the power of energy, the power of nutrition, not just food, but also what we're putting energetically. And then also the power of the mindset. And when I combined all of them, I understood how quantum physics works and how energy can be moved. Like Einstein said, energy never, it merely changes forms. So I changed the form of that energy because I'm in chronic pain a lot and I can move that out. And then emotionally, when I'm doing something emotionally and it's hitting me emotionally, I can stop and go, whoa, is that mine or is that my critical brain is that somebody else talking to me over here because you know how that goes right wait wait, wait, you know that i mean that that other voice is always challenging talking right yes ma'am yes ma'am very powerful now angel what is your best advice to the audience for walking with purpose and living a life of happiness walking with purpose living with happiness my best one for everyone is to be in the present moment to be in the present moment is saying i don't have to go do my laundry i don't gotta go do my laundry i don't have to energy weighs you down i get to to look at life in a get to because living on purpose is being in the moment of that moment of the adventure and that's why i look at people say oh it's a journey angel no i think it's an adventure because you never know what's gonna happen do you And when you look at life as an adventure and you get to be on a beautiful show with you, I get to, there's a different energy to it. So big one, be in the present. But if I could, the biggest one that I teach in my coaching everywhere that I go is the diaphragmic breaths, the belly breathes, because it keeps you out of flight or flight. That is the biggest one because when we can do those belly breaths and really do those in a conscious way that you're doing those every day, at least three to 10, every time, every hour, you'll stay out of flight or flight. And you won't be pushing in business. You won't be pushing in your personal life. You'll see different things and people in a different way. I love it. Be in the present moment. Now, Angel, where can the audience find you? They can find me at my website, angelmarieshines.com. And then all over Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. I'm pretty much, I love doing videos. So I'm always putting minute videos on my YouTube channel. So yes, they can find me there. And I, I'm, I, I love to chat, as you could tell. I love to chat. So if anyone wants to give me a call, that's fine. I would love to chat and see where can I serve because for me i'm committed i'm committed to serve millions of people 
That's my commitment to the world is that everyone discovers that they can choose to be different and to serve millions of people. Because what I give is hope and inspiration for you. That's what I'm doing. I love it. Now, Natsiki, she says, journey versus adventure. Very powerful. Thank you for listening in. Yes, thank you. Yes, and it is because a journey always seems to end. People say, oh, it's a journey when it's going to end. But an adventure, that gets me excited. That's like, okay, okay. And in my book, my favorite quote is happiness. And happiness, and happiness, the quote is, happiness is looking at life as an adventure and as a vacation. Now think about it. You're going to go on vacation. Don't you get excited? Yes, ma'am. It's an adventure. So stay in that energy and you'll raise it and you'll be able to have more clarity. That's scientifically proven. To, absolutely. Very powerful. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to check out Angel at angelmarieshines.com. And Angel, thank you for being a guest on Walk With Me podcast. Thank you.